So, when it comes to your gaming room, your gaming setup, or your PC studio, or whatever you've got, RGB lighting is cool. Like, I've got RGB lighting all over my soundproofer. There's some behind there. You can't see it very well because I've got lights everywhere at the moment. But a company got in touch with me regarding some LED lights. Now, they're not just them simple ones where you pull off a reel and stick them around. These ones are really cool. Now, when I mean really cool, I mean really cool. So... They got in touch with me regarding something called a light flow, smart linkable neon LED lights. Let's get into it. So guys here we have it this is what we're looking at we're going to unbox this first get it unboxed and everything first and then of course we're going to go into some funky designs but this is the car this is the the color light flow smart linkable neo neon rope lights this is the perfect ambient your diy creations and light flow ultimate light effects so like it says on the tin this is basically a load of neon designs and you can create your own designs with this kit depending what size you get this works with Amazon Alexa, and it also works with Google Assist, which is really cool. So you can turn this on, turn it off whenever you feel like it. You don't have to use the control box. So, like I said, light flow. This is a, a linkable, flexible, dynamic effects, as well as music sync. So if you've got some music going on in the background, the RGB will actually link to the music and react with it. So, waste no more time. Let's get this unboxed, see what we get, and of course, make some funky designs. So, let's go. So first of all, we are met with a little user manual here. This is going to tell you everything from start to finish of how to get these all connected up, including they even have some optional designs here. So some things that you might want to make or create everything to do with the control systems, as well as the app and instruction video, which if you are struggling, as well as you can get your di uh, get DIY guide from more shapes. So if you are struggling what to make or if you've got no idea what you want to create, you can go through them QR codes and of course make your own designs. So let's get this unboxed, see what we get, and we'll go from there. So first of all, we do get a circular control here. So this is going to be like, see if you want to do a star effect and you want lights to go out this way, that's more like, so this will be more like the centerpiece. Little USB Type-C cable, and it also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB Type-C ports there, as well as it is covered in um, a double-coated uh, tissue tape. So obviously this is a double coated tape here so you can stick this to a surface of course so you get one of them we also get our control box as well which is going to be connected up so this is powered again by usb type c and we also have a plus or minus button on depending on the brightness as well as a turn knob as well as the turn knob does click to change the settings of the rgb format so we do get our usb or usb we do get our uk style plug here but it does have a click off little adapter here so if you move to a different country or you're in a different country you can get a different adapter to click into this and of course this is just i believe it is five volt yeah ac dc adapter which is pretty cool now we do get a few other things we get our main cable so this is going to be from our main power port into double uh, usb type c so one's a male fit and the other one's a female fit so the female fitting will be then to connect to these guys and then the other fitting will be to connect to the actual control box which is pretty cool so I'll pop that on one side we also get a few extra usb type c cables going on here to male to female fittings depending on your design and then of course we get a full bag full of different connectors which will allow you to keep your designs nice and straight obviously we get a full variant going on there so we have ones for the actual cables themselves and then we all uh, for the actual lights themselves and then we have some for the actual cables which are just little ones like this clear plastic so they're not gonna they're gonna blend in quite well with the, the actual plastics now we have our led lights so first of all we have one two three four five six seven we have seven smaller ones going on here so these are fully diffused led lights going on through here on one side we have a female fitting usb type c and on the other side we have a usb type c fitting and then we have two longer ones going on here. Same design, all diffused LEDs. We have male, male to female USB type C. So we get two of them as well. So this is our entire kit going on here. Now what we need to do is find a small space of wall and actually start creating something. So let's do that now. So I have a blank piece of wall going on right here. So this is the entrance into my kind of, I want to call it a studio. So this is the main entrance into my part of the studio. The rest of the walls are pretty much covered in acoustic panels because 
Here in the UK, houses aren't built the best, so they're very loud and very echoey. So I've decided to put acoustic panels everywhere. So this is pretty much the only blank space I have. So what I was thinking was to try and make a design of my logo. So my logo is pretty much two triangles kind of pointing together. So I was kind of thinking of putting it here. I wonder. So what I'm going to do is try building it now. We're going to go for the process of pretty much me just sticking it on the wall. And then, of course, we're going to go into a zoom effect. I'm going to do a little time lapse of me doing it, make it sped up a bit, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've set the camera up a little bit higher because this is where I'm going to be putting the display. So what we're going to do is get all the cable sorted out and figure out what design I'm probably going to go with. I think I'm going to stick with more my logo. Um, and then we're pretty much going to go from that. And we'll pretty much see what happens from that. So what... So what I'm thinking of is using this guy. So this guy can just be inputted into the USB port. So what I'm thinking of is just putting that directly in the center, having my triangles come out this way. So it'll be one, 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 and then two, three, four. So that's what I'm thinking, because I have seven of the smaller cables and two longer ones. So what I'm thinking is if I use them ones, try and make a design, of course I can always change my design. Or I might just go for the full petal effect. So I've got two long ones into there and then seven coming out just to make it look a little bit more better. I think that's what the design I'm gonna go for. So I think that's where we're gonna go. So how this is pretty much gonna work, I'm gonna have a centerpiece and then these are gonna come out like that. So that's pretty much how it's gonna work. Obviously I'll be able to hide these cables so I won't be able so I won't be using them, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like as well as there and there. Of course, on these, I did forget to mention, on these themselves, they have little grooves, so you can just push the cable out or there, depending on which angle it's going, which is quite cool. So I think that's where I'm gonna start. But first of all, I need to try and find the center of this wall. I don't have a tape measure up here, but I'm gonna do some rough, rough measurements. So 50 on that little point there. And that is 99, so pretty much on that line there. So we actually do have a center line going on there, which is actually quite handy. So what I'm gonna do is start by getting my little thing here. Tell you what, I'll carry on, I'll do a time lapse and you'll see roughly what it's gonna look like. So we'll go from there. So there we go, done. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all set up. I'm gonna do a time lapse of me actually sticking it to the wall and we'll go from there, of course. So let's get in with it. Like I said, we have it all finished. It is a bit dark, but don't worry. But like I said, this is my center column. So this is where all my USB ports, all my USB type C ports are connecting into to give us the more of an equal design going up. So like I said, we have seven going outwards and then we just have one long one coming down. That's the design I went for. You personally don't have to do that. You can do anything. This was just one of the pre-designs they had in the book. Remember the QR code, what you can scan. And then of course, mine's coming down into the control box, which is just down on the bottom, which I'll show you now. So as you can see the cable there, the cable goes down onto the bottom of the floor and then we also have the control box going on right there. The reason I put mine here is because this is when I'm doing my videos, this is out the way. So I can obviously change this depending on what I want, whether how fast I want them, how quick I want them, as well as if I want to change the mode, I can do that as well, turn them off. And then of course click it in, you turn them back on and all that good stuff. So if I cycle through, I'll leave that like that so you can see them. I'll cycle through some of the ones just so you can roughly see what they're like. So at the moment it's more of just blue and red, it's more of like a police amber alert. And then click it again, turns off, click it again. And then we have like, this is more of a slow RGB, so this is going to cycle through the colours really slowly. And of course, as you turn the dial, it gets up faster. And then of course, remember on the dial I had the plus or minus, so if I keep hitting the minus button, it turns it all the way down. If I carry on clicking the plus button, it's going to turn it to as bright as it possibly can get. And obviously there we go, we have the full RGB feature, which is pretty cool. 
So like I said, if we have the lights down a little bit there, as we can see, we have the full RGB effect going on. And it does add to the room, I have to admit. I actually really do like it. I believe it gives the studio a little bit more of a nicer look. So this is something definitely that I'll stick with. Never know, later on down the line, I might change the design. But of course, we'll get into that when we get into it. Right, so of course, I know this is a little bit weird because I haven't got the tripod at the moment. But of course, we finished, obviously, the light set up. If we go over... Like we have it all set up now, so like I said, we've got the more star design going on, which goes all the way down into the little control box, which is now down here. So this is perfectly in line with my leg. So this is going to be a bit of a weird angle, but where the control is, is perfectly in line with my leg. So if I click it, and then I can obviously change the color design, that, that's just the easiest way I found, of, if we go back into the light, I found to actually get it connected. But the one thing I didn't show you was connecting it to the app. So let's get it downloaded first and I'll show you before we end the video. So when you do scan the QR code, it comes up with an app called the Carla. So there it is right there, little purple app. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly, but this is what we have to download. This is gonna allow you to connect up the device itself. Like I said, it does also connect to Google Home and Amazon Alexa, it allows you to connect it and then obviously tell it to turn on, turn off, all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do, a quick screen recording, of course. So what we're going to do first of all, as we can see, there's a screen cordon right here. We're going to sign up or log in, dependent if you've got an account already. So I'm going to quickly sign up. I'm going to pop in my email address. I'm going to go from there. And of course, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so like I said, you can see on the screen there, we've got it now. So it says your device is lost in space. So we need to add a device. I'm going to click on OK. Location's on, Bluetooth's on. I'm going to click on OK. Then we need to actually try and find the device. So we're going to top right hand corner. It's got light flow. I'm going to click on that. And it says power on the device. Uh, and power so power the device on power off for 10 seconds then power on again I'm gonna quickly do that now when you do that your device should be flashing blue so we're gonna click on next and as it says confirm the light is flashing and breathing which it is so yes it is click on next click on ok so it says now you advise your Bluetooth settings so click on setup go to Bluetooth oh go to Bluetooth so that's currently set up now I click on that turn Bluetooth on which we've already done click on next now it's going to start adding the device, which obviously that's what it's going to do. It's going to add the device. As soon as it's done that, I'll come back to you. Right, so as you can see, it's found the Decala light flow, which is being added, which is the thing we've reviewed. I know my camera's on a funny angle just because the way I've got it set up, don't worry. So we're currently downloading it. It's the re recovered the device. We've signed into our Wi-Fi. And then what we're going to do is quickly just get this connected. It's currently downloading now. So as soon as that is done, we'll then go to the next step. So as we can see from the screen, the device has been added successfully. So I'm going to click on done. And then it's just going to go through the process of just syncing everything up. So at the moment, the light. So here we have the app in total. So what I'm going to do is go over to the actual lights and we'll go from there. So as we can see, the lights there as well as I've got the screen recording just next to it. So we can roughly watch it as well. So we have on and off, which is pretty simple on off. We have rainbow effect. We have fire effect. So it makes it look like there's a bit of a fire going on. As we can see there, we have holiday. So as we can see, it's got more of like a holiday theme going on. We've got fireworks. So this is going to start from the bottom, work its way up, and it's going to be like a firework effect, which is cool. So we have Spectrum as well. So Spectrum is just pretty much just going to slowly vibe through all the different types of RGB. And of course, we have Chase. So Chase is more like, obviously, say, like a star shooting star or a shooting asteroid. And then, of course, we have Breathe. This is pretty much just going to slowly breathe through all the different types of RGB. So, well, at the moment, we've got to set the red. If I move over to blue, it's going to breathe blue. And then, of course, if I set it back to red, and then we can have full utilization of all the different colors. We also have music. So, obviously, as I'm talking, it's going to start registering the music. And then we also have random. So this is just going to pretty much every time you hit random, it's just going to do a random different effect like we can see going on right now. So we have different ones. We have color, brightness, as well as speed. So if I turn the speed all the way up, as we can see, it's very fast. Turn it all the way down, it's going to be micro slow. And then, of course, we have the brightness setting. So we can change the brightness setting to have it all the way down. And then we can have it all the way up, depending on what sign or scene we're going for. I'll chuck that back to rainbow for a second. Have that on high speed. We have wake up, so we can actually set this as a timer to wake up at a certain time, which is really cool. And then we also have sleep aid, so we can do it um, obviously for the time scale that we've got going on there as well. We have time settings, so we can change it 24 hours or network time synchronizing. And then we also have positioning. So in the top right hand corner, if we click that, we have everything from the name of it, device information, tap to run on automation. 
uh, we have Alexa. So what we're going to do is actually get this connected up to the Alexa app. So I'm going to do this now. So what I'm going to do is go over to the Alexa app. Obviously, I'm going to go to where it says more skills and games. Top right, I'm going to search. I'm going to type in smart life, smart life. So the top one, we're going to click on that smart life. I'm going to click on able to use. It's going to try and link the account, of course. So it's going to ask me to link my account, which I'm going to do now. So it's asking which one it's from. So it's from the Carlos. So I'm going to click that link device uh, for this app account. So what it's going to do is ask me the information and I'm going to go through this now. So I've done that. It's asked me to authorize it, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to authorize it. And there we go. Your smart life account has been successfully linked. So what we can do is Alexa is looking for the device. It's going to take a few seconds. So as you can see, it's added. It says what I can do. So you can tell it to turn on, you can dim it or increase it. So what we're going to do is get started. So like I said, we have it all connected up. So we've got it connected up to the Alexa app. So what we're going to do is actually ask it to actually turn the lights off. So you might be able to hear uh, Alexa actually talking. So let's try it. Alexa, turn off the color light flow. Okay. And there we go, it's turned off. Alexa, turn on the color light flow. Okay. And there we go, it's turned on. Really is as simple as that. So what you can also do is if you go into the, obviously the Alexa rack underneath uh, the color light flow, we have a few options here. So we can turn it on and off. Like I said, you can see it from the camera there as well. We can even change the color. So if I want it to be orange or gold, we can do that, rainbow. Or we can change it to holiday, firework. So it's got it all set up to what you actually want it. So we can turn the brightness all the way down till it's off, or we can turn it all the way up. Click on turn on, turn off. So they're gonna then again we can go through. So if I go to rainbow, turn it on rainbow, turn it all the way down, turn it all the way back up. And it really is as simple as that. So there we have it guys, that was everything recording the the Color Light Flow app. Everything from getting it set up, making some funky designs. Like I said, if you do check the user manual that does come with this, there's a QR code as well as descriptions in the user manual showing you all different designs you can use. But then again, you can go all out and use your own personal designs. It's all up to you, depends on what you're feeling. I went for more of the like the firework design because I just thought it looked cool. Now, I definitely will be getting probably another set of these to do a full big logo so I can have it in the corner of the wall so when I am live streaming and all that good stuff, they can see it in the background. But I have to admit, A, super easy to install. You can put this on pretty much any surface you want. Obviously, unless you have carpets on your wall, then I probably wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> But then again, you can make some cool, funky designs with this. So like I said, if you want to go check it out, links are all in the video description. So please do go check them out. If you want to make your studio, your gaming room, your man cave look so much better. Check the links in the description. They'll all be there. If you do have any questions, please do drop them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But as always, if the video did help you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, have a great day.